I turned the AC off to film and I'm already getting so hot. Hi guys, how do you like the new hair? So I got my roots to be a little bit more faded so I can start growing my natural color out. And then I got the bangs of course. <laughs> so they are curtain bangs though, so I can you know, go like that if I want. So, <laughs> for those of you who have been keeping up with me, you know that I recently got engaged. I have a fiance instead of a boyfriend now. Um, it is, I'm engaged to my longtime best friend and just soulmate and partner in crime and lover, Abel Bear. And I'm going to be Hannah Bear now, one day. <laughs> we don't have a date yet. Um, but I kind of wanted to kind of give you guys the whole backstory to the proposal. I know there's always questions behind the story of a proposal, so I wanted to give you guys that. And I so apologize for being late for this video. I should have posted by now since I announced the engagement. Um, but me and Abel both came down with a really bad sickness. I think there's like a summer cold going around. Uh, wasn't COVID. We both got tested multiple times, so I don't know what it was. I think it was the cold, but nonetheless, we're good now, so let's get into it. Um, first of all, me and Abel have been together for over five and a half years, like since March of 2016. I was a sophomore in high school, and he was a junior in high school, so we're little high school sweethearts. I know. Like, oh, well, I'm not gonna bore you with the whole love story. I'm just gonna say that. You know, we knew we wanted to get married whenever we were like 17, dude. Like, we were pretty young. It was probably like a year into our relationship. We were like, yeah, we want, yeah. Like, this is this is the thing. This is gonna be, a, you know, a lifetime thing, hopefully. We've lived together now for three years as well. So we've been through like five different places <laughs> together at this point. Um, we know how each other is. You know how each other are? Why am I forgetting how to talk? We know how each other works, you know, we know like our weaknesses and our strengths. Fast forward to Abel got promoted to being the manager um, around the end of last year, I think. And so he's been managing, you know, he is doing really good with his career right now. Um, basically, I was like... <laughs> I realized that I didn't know what kind of ring that I like. I didn't even know what kind of cut that I like or, you know, what I think looks good on me. I looked at Abel one day and I was like, babe, I'm gonna go ring shopping because I don't even know, like, what does cut even mean? Like, what is, like, who is carrot? But I looked at Abel and I was like, babe, we need to go to the diamond store so that I can get educated and know what I like on my little fingers. Say, one of these days after work, it was like February of this year, he and I went to the diamond shop and I mostly realized that I didn't like the teardrop shape on me for some reason I just don't like that and I thought I might have but didn't like that but I do like really detailed settings so <laughs> um <laughs> probably like a month after that it was probably like the end of March me and Abel were like okay let's go somewhere <laughs> i really was like let's go somewhere and i found these really cheap tickets to go to costa rica for like 10 days and i looked at abel and i was like hey let's get these tickets and he was like hey okay let's go well we got the tickets in march to go to costa rica in june so we had like a good three months time span window to you know get all of our airbnbs booked um all that good stuff plan everything out you know all that good stuff. Save up spending money for Costa Rica. One day uh, we were booking our Airbnbs and the last one came up, the honeymoon suite in Monte Verde. Wait, step back a couple steps. I have always told Abel, I always told Abel that my dream proposal consists of three things. I want him to do these three things. I want us to be alone, okay? Second, I want us to have a beautiful scenic area around us. I want us to be in a beautiful spot that just like sings to me spiritually and physically in every single way. I just, I wanna be in awe of where I am at the moment. And three, I want him to film it and capture it to where I don't see the camera or you know, whatever, just have it filmed so I can watch it back later. So those, you know, I've always told him those things. And recently, 
um, in these past couple of years since I went to Europe in 2019, I've told him, oh, oh, it'd be so nice for you to propose to me in Europe, like, oh, like in Spain or somewhere, you know, somewhere so beautiful. Uh, he has been to Spain and he's wanted to take me to Spain because he loves it so much. So, you know, I've always told him, like, Europe is the place I want you to propose to me, basically, like, oh, that would be my dream, whatever. Fast forward to where we're getting Airbnbs in Costa Rica and I look over to him after we're, like, booking this place in Monteverde. I'm like, babe, I... Honestly, and you know, like we're in this place in our relationship where I really, you know, I really just want to do that next step. I want to, I want to become engaged, you know, like I felt this way this whole year. And so I looked over at him and I was like, babe, you know, I really wouldn't mind if you wanted to propose to me in Costa Rica, low key though. I might have said that to him, so you know, that's something that happened. Fast forward to a month before we leave to Costa Rica. He's like, babe, your size five, right? Your ring size is five, right? Like, I don't know where. I would have freaking nowhere, Abel. Yeah, I look at him and I'm like, babe, yeah. Yeah, it's size five. <laughs> what are you doing? Probably like, so, like a couple, like a week or so after that, he, you know, there was one point where he didn't want me to look at what he was doing on his phone because we were about to watch something and he's like, one second I have to go do something first. He goes in the other room and he's like on his phone and I'm like, what the heck is he doing? So I go in there and he's like, she's like, don't take another step in here. And I'm like, oh, hey, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. So, you know, I have things going on in my brain like, oh my gosh, he's going to propose, isn't he? He has to propose in Costa Rica. So I'm like, at this point, I'm telling my sisters, I'm telling my friends i'm telling everyone like i think he's gonna propose to me in costa rica though low-key like i think i was even telling me my friends at work like i was telling everyone like, my parents fast forward to us going on our trip to costa rica we were staying there for 10 days okay this whole time you know i'm kind of looking out for moments that he might be doing it but you know i also felt like if he was gonna do it he was gonna save it for the end like for that honeymoon suite in monteverde so, but I didn't know he was going to wait till the last, last day. So, the last day came while we were in Monteverde, and the day after this, we were going to be heading back to America, um, going to San Jose, which is, like, just not a very romantic place at all to be, or not really, like, a destination spot, you know? Like, we were going to, this was our last day in a beautiful place to, you know, and to relax where you weren't leaving yet. So I was like, you know, shit, if he's not going to do it on this trip, that's fine. But like, if he's going to do it on this trip, he's going to do it tonight. And we were actually planning on going to this really lovely and super, super nice and just high end um, Italian restaurant on this um, hilltop, like looking over literally like the mountains, like the clouds going over the mountains and you can look far out and it's the gulf and Oh, it was just the most beautiful oh, it was just the most beautiful spot and y'all saw it if you watched my last video um, but so went back to this place and I think he also thought he was throwing me off by taking me back to a place that we have been before another thing he was trying to do throw me off was um, you know I had saved this dress to wear um, kind of for this night this green velvet dress is the dress I was wearing in the proposal video and he has never seen me in this dress before and I you know I, I looked at him as I was getting ready and I was like babe I'm about to put on this dress that you've never seen on me before like are you excited or I had to close the blinds because I got self-conscious because my neighbors you know, were gonna come and see me and that makes me feel weird so I hope this isn't too dark for y'all so I was like babe You've never seen me in this dress before and he was like oh damn babe i already wore the nicest thing that i brought to wear last night at last night's dinner and i was like a little part of me died on the inside because i was like damn like he would have worn that to propose to me right like he would have worn the nicest thing that he brought to propose to me so i was like a little bummed about that but 30 minutes later your girl is about to go blow dry her hair after finishing her makeup and he's like babe no we don't have time for that we gotta go because he wanted to see the sunset that's probably the biggest like giveaway for me because y'all this day earlier we went ziplining on that day he was even telling me in between ziplines he was like 
Hey, but all I care about is getting a really good sunset tonight. And, you know, I mean, I feel like he was trying to play it off because he, we haven't gotten any good sunsets. He was trying to play it off because we haven't gotten really any good, like, sunset anywhere in Monteverde yet. So I think he was just like, I mean, that's what I was feeling like. I was like, damn, yeah, we should get at least one good sunset because we're about to leave. But, you know, he was like really caring about seeing the sunset and I've never seen him care about a sunset like that before. He's like rushing me to leave before I even can blow dry my hair. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I guess whatever. Because he's like, babe, we have to be back here for the sunset. That's why, like, in the vlog, I'm like, yeah, I didn't have time to blow dry my hair, but that's okay. So, by the way guys, in this proposal video, it's funny because both me and Abel both hate how we look in this video. I mean, first of all, my hair was just faded from being pink, so it was just this really bad color with my roots so grown out, and I just hated, hated, hated how my hair looked um, from the back, just from every angle in that video. I don't know, I, oh, I hated how my hair looked, and Abel actually, Abel also hated how he looked too, which I thought was funny, but... So we both hate how we look, but we still love the video, obviously, because it's literally us, like, committing to each other for a lifetime, and it's so beautiful, and I wouldn't change anything about it. Is that weird to say? I don't know. I hate how I look, but I wouldn't change anything about it, because it's just, like, I don't know, just... I would you, you know? So, basically, whenever he was, like, rushing to get the bill, I had this, like, oh my god, the most expensive glass of wine on this menu. Um, and Abel spent way too much money on this meal. He got us like this whole charcuterie board He got himself like the nicest glass of whiskey. We felt so fancy and so adult. It's crazy And then so after he was like rushing to get the bill and he was like, all right, let's go down there Let's go down there to that gazebo and the sunset was like happening at this point So it rushes the bill and then rushes us out to see this sunset at the gazebo I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever smooth stuff so, <laughs> you guys are walking down to the gazebo, and he kind of walks in, or, no, I kind of, I walk in front of him, and he's recording, he's recording, because his phone is recording the view, and I, I see him recording, and it, as soon as I see him recording, I'm like, it's over, he's so about to propose right now, because, listen, out of the two of us, he does not record shit. I am the one, if we're seeing something beautiful, I'm recording. Literally, if we're doing anything, if it's his birthday, I'm recording. If it's my birthday, I'm recording it. If we're eating something, I'm like, uh-uh, wait, I wanna record this, you know? Like, he doesn't record things, so when I see him recording things, I'm like, oh, okay, so you've been listening to my proposal requirements all these years, I see. But, um, you guys, I see this man's recording, and you can see when I, like, kind of, like, make eye contact with the camera, I'm like, okay, and then you can, like, kind of see me, like, I'm putting my stuff down, because I'm holding my phone and my face mask, and I'm like, I can't be holding this right now for this, so I'm, like, holding it down, and I'm, like, I get nervous, like my nerves start like going because I feel like, I don't know, me and Abel are like almost the same person at this point, I, I can feel his nerves when he's having a bunch of nerves, <laughs> so I feel like I was getting nervous because he was like, I felt like he, I could feel his nervousness, so I was just like kissing him in between his words, like, I don't know, I was just giving him all these little pecks and um, he was so sweet, you guys, I don't know. The rest is pretty much history. I mean, he tried to be sneaky with setting the camera up, but I totally saw it, and he thought that I didn't see it, so we thought he was smooth, so I thought that was really cute. But, um... <laughs> um, you guys, I thought, like, oh, it's fine if I have to change some things about this ring. Um, no. He did such a good job. Like, I'm telling you, I'm so impressed with Abel's ring choice. Just look at that detail. So there is, uh, there are real diamonds lining it and the leaves. And then there's a beautiful big moissanite on the center. There's also a diamond on the very bottom and right and directly underneath the moissanite. It's just so pretty. The funnest part about having a ring, you can just be like, ah. Oh. Sorry, I'm engaged. But you guys, that is kind of the whole story behind the engagement. By the way, um, the whole time we were in Costa Rica, <laughs> and the whole time we were traveling to Costa Rica, he put the ring inside of his boot here. 
So I think that's funny because he was like, oh, she won't look in here of all places. She might look through my stuff, but she won't look through my boo, right? And of course I didn't. I don't even look through his stuff in general, but <laughs> he put it in his boot and I love that. So I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have more exciting content coming out, so look out for that. I also need to say thank you so, so much for all of you guys' response whenever I posted the just engagement video and just announcing it on Instagram. Every single one of you who commented, like, it just means the world to me and Abel, and I feel so loved and supported by you guys, and um, Abel does too, and we both just really appreciate all the love, and I want to say thank you so, so much to every single one of you guys who commented, like, seriously. It just made my heart so, so happy, so thank you guys, and I'm so excited to have you guys with me on this journey. I'm going to be going through all the marriage stuff. Marriage stuff. I'm gonna be planning a wedding. Oh my god, like what? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> if any one of y'all is a awesome wedding planner, let me know because I am trying to get a wedding planned. Yeah. And with that being said, thank you guys so so much for watching. You are just amazing and lovely and beautiful, and I hope that you never forget it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on my next video, guys. Bye-bye.